talk about um, how you guys are going to regroup and how you guys um, we were just talking to Coach Patterson. He said you guys showed a lot of spirit in practice today. Um, definitely, we have. You know, it's, um, especially going off a loss like that. You know, you want to move on. You don't want to dwell on the past. You have to. You can't. You know, continue to move forward by looking backwards. You know what I mean? So, you know, we decided to move forward. Forget about the game. It's the past. You can't do anything about it. Move on to the next game. Just try to win the next one. One thing Coach Patterson was talking about was no finger pointing. It doesn't matter how well you guys play defensively, a loss is a loss in the end. I mean, is that, is that something that you guys think about? Is that something the whole win as a team, lose the team mentality? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, we're all going for the same goal. You know what I mean? You can't do that on one side of the ball. You can't do that individually. You got to do it as a team, win or loss. You know what I mean? So it doesn't really matter how well one side does as long as we, we all have to be on the same page. We all have to be doing just as well to you know, reach our goal. How are you guys preparing for OSU in the tempo you're about to see from them? I know Dana and, and Shannon both kind of said, or sorry, both just kind of said that they play fast, that Oklahoma did it, but it seems like Oklahoma State kind of takes it to the next level in terms of tempo. Yeah, I mean, we practice tempo in practice, so, you know, we, um, we try to get as many plays as little time as possible, so it get us to try to be discombobulated, maybe, you know, um, not think straight, you know, try to get your eyes on your keys and do your job. So, I mean, we're definitely practicing throughout the week, and by the time, you know, the game comes, hopefully it comes slow. How challenging is it? Mike, you got to too. For you in the middle, getting things identified and, and get, I mean, when, when you don't have time, how much, how much of a challenge is that for you guys to, to see what they're doing, to get the call, to get people lined up? And who's, whose responsibility is that for you guys to make sure everybody's in the right spot? Um, I feel like it's everybody's responsibility. You know, I feel like it's more for the linebackers because, you know, we're in the middle of everything. You know, so we do take it upon ourselves to make sure everybody's lined up and do that to the best of our ability as fast as possible. It also has a lot to do with film. You know, continue to watch film. You, know, you have to volunteer your time because, you know, a week's not, you know, enough time to just have 40 minutes a day just to watch on your opponent. So you have to volunteer your time to exactly see what they do and, and you know how good they do it at and times of the you know the game that they do it in order to get a good feeling what they do to make you play faster so just in case you know if they come out in certain formation and only do certain plays out of that formation you can you know limit the amount of plays they can do and, you know make you play faster